Good day, RGV. Today on Valley Por Vida, we've got a special guest in studio to talk about the newest beauty trends coming up for 2021 and 2022. Now, we've also got an all new Fun Facts segment, a trivia game, the latest in reels, ratings, and reviews, must see movies, and an exclusive interview with a local boxer. All that and more today on the show. The show starts right now. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us today. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. And you know, we recently celebrated the Thanksgiving season, but the new year is upon us, which means everyone will be getting ready to lock down their new year resolutions and looking towards the newest beauty trends for the end of this year into next. But what are those beauty trends though? I mean, is next year gonna bring about new hairstyles for your hair, makeup, wardrobe? Well, we decided to speak with a beauty expert to find out. And she's the owner of a blush day spa and salon in Harlingen and she's joining us right here in studio to tell us all about what we need to know. Hey Veronica, how are you? I'm great. I'm so happy to have you here because like I said, the new year is coming up, but there's still some trends we need to know for this year leading into next. So tell us a little bit about, um, you know, what we need to know. Absolutely. Well, the last time we spoke, we were talking about 2021 trends and it was about minimal, minimal. <laughs> but 2022 is going to be about the glitz and the glam, you know, the smoky look the bold lips okay. and um, you know the, the longer hair um, shag bangs all, all of those things are coming back maybe we're taking some things from the 60s and 70s and bringing them back into 2020 I like that and maybe with as far as the hair maybe we're looking for some more volume right and that kind of goes for males and females so tell me like how we can achieve that look <laughs> definitely well I mean a good haircut with long layers short layers can achieve that easily but of course we've got to do the work at home too. use good styling products um, your blow dryer round brush all of that you know and go to a good salon Oh my goodness, I always find it so hard to use the round brush, but you know how to. You are an expert, you're a professional, um, and you, you you guys are so friendly too. So maybe tell me a little bit about how, how you know, self-care in general is so important. I mean, it, it's important for our minds, for just everything. Well, when we feel beautiful, we look beautiful, we feel beautiful, and that is all about self-esteem and having just a positive mindset. We're going into a, a newer outlook with jobs too, so we need to look our best. And what better way to do it than to have great hair, great skin, all of that, and just feel mentally healthy. I love that. And of course, everyone is now on Zoom or digital, you know, working from home and stuff like that. So it's important to kind of, you know, fix yourself up even for, for the, the computer screen, right? And this is this goes for males and females. So tell me a little bit about that, how really everyone can just get involved in self-care and really take care of themselves at the end of this year coming into next. I mean, you can do it at home. Um, I do it sometimes when I need some of that me time. Yeah. Facials at home, you can do, um, you know, always just take some time, at least 30 minutes of your day to just practice self-care. Yeah. And it's very important. It goes a long way. Definitely. And like I said, male or female, if your skin is, you know, you're, you're taking care of your skin, it's going to help, you know, you, you look better throughout the day, your makeup application. I mean, why is it important to take care of your skin? Absolutely. Drink lots of water. That's really important. A lot of people are starting to go to the gym. That, I mean, be, feeling healthy, being healthy, all goes into beauty too. You know, it's it's all in one one field. Absolutely, it's inside out. Yes. I really love that. Yes. Awesome, so then real quick, one last takeaway. Uh, biggest thing that we should maybe try is something new when it comes to our, uh, you know, the way we look in the new year. What's, what's one thing you think that would be fun? Don't be afraid to go bold um, with your makeup looks. This is gonna be a new year, I promise you. It's gonna be about the wow factor, so don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid to try new looks with your hair, color, all of that. I mean, just really, really be out there. Last year, I know it was a little different. This year, it's about the excitement factor. Very good. All right, you guys. Well, if you're looking to try out something new, um, not to worry because their team is an expert. They can definitely help you out. There's no excuse to not join in in the 2021 into 2022 beauty trend fun. And hopefully we've given you a sneak peek at what next year's world of self-care will bring. And you can visit Veronica's Facebook page to learn how she can help you get on point with a personal consultation. All right, well, makeup and beauty products can be fun to play with, but how much do you know about them? Well, let's go ahead and find out in today's Fun Facts segment.
All right, according to ThoughtCatalog.com, the patent for nail polish actually came about in 1919. And it was a shade of, get this, light pink. It was almost nude. It's so very natural. Also, did you know that Roman women used to put certain eye drops in their eyes to help make their pupils look larger because that was considered beautiful? And get this, the Aztecs were pretty creative too. They used to get beetles, that's right, the insect, and crush them to make red lipstick and even blush. For their cheeks. Another pretty interesting thing is that there were times um, where someone's use of makeup actually designated your economic status in some certain circles, uh, social circles rather. And today, apparently, a person will spend about $15,000 in their lifetime on cosmetic and beauty products alone. Pretty crazy to believe, but maybe there's something that you wouldn't believe if I told you. Hmm? Well, it's now time for today's trivia time game. All right, well, I'm going to present you with three statements, and it's up to you to determine which is indeed not to true. And I'm going to throw some dates at you, all right? So, the first mass market hairspray was introduced to the world back in 1960. Hmm. And then the first deodorant hit shelves back in 1889. And the beauty industry generates around $1 billion worldwide per year. All right, like I said, only one of those statements is not true, but don't worry, I'm going to give you a little bit of time to think about it because it's actually time for a commercial break and then we've got to look at your local weather updates. But don't go anywhere because we're going to have an all new Reels, Ratings and Reviews segment when we come back.